Can't tell you how disappointed I am in today. Looking forward to this. And you know, no matter how much you plan, how well prepared you are, you're never always fully prepared. And uh, today, this place got the best of me. Good afternoon, everyone. Hard to believe that it's the middle of April. And uh, well, we had a couple of inches of snow last night. It melted off. But we have these 30 mile an hour winds coming directly out of the west, right in off of Green Bay, the Bay of Green Bay. And today we've come to a location near Egg Harbor, the town of Egg Harbor, uh, called Murphy Park. And there's a pier out in Murphy Park that extends kind of in a zigzag fashion out into the Bay of Green Bay. And at, near the end of the pier is a bench, like a park bench. And I've come out here many times to shoot. This is one of my favorite locations to shoot in Door County, actually, uh, particularly in weather like this. And Anyway, that's what we're here to do. We're trying to shoot some waves uh, coming up over the top of this bench. And uh, I've tried this several times before. I've gotten close, but I've never had a really satisfactory uh, shot of this particular event, wave event at this park. So we're gonna give it a try today. Now, I have to point out here that I had to redo this introduction when I discovered just how much wind interference there was. To give you an idea of what a constant 30 mile per hour gale coming off of Green Bay sounds like on a shotgun mic with a dead cat windscreen, well here you go. I opted instead to run a remote lavalier mic from underneath the hood of my rain jacket. There, much better. You can see how high the water level is here. This was all shoreline. Used to be a, a really nice shoreline, nice rocky beach. But now, with the lake level so high, and especially this surge from the water coming in off the bay. But here's the pier, and that's what we're setting out to shoot today. Zooming in to uh, 10 times. On manual focus. Very windy. All right, now we wait. Wait for the waves. Need one to break over the bench, above the bench. They come by every so often.
there was one and I missed it. Oh, geez. That was beautiful. Another beautiful one, but they're all out of frame. <laughs> uh, yeah. All out of frame. I love these little gloves with the fingers and the thumbs that peel back. A little magnet to hold them in place. Because I can do that. Try a few here, and then I'm probably going to go back to where I was when I first came here. Try right back over there. The way the waves are hitting the pier, when they're breaking and bouncing up. I noticed that the monitor screen on my Canon M50 vlogging camera quit working, probably due to the bitter cold wind. That's not the first time it's frozen up. So I decided to come in out of the wind for a bit and see if warming up the camera would knock her back into operation. So, yeah. I don't know if any of that was worth it. It's not quite what I had in mind today. But uh, I'll wait a little bit, maybe go back out there, see if I can get that M50 working again. And uh, yeah, very challenging out there in these weather conditions, that's for sure. It's starting to snow now, so it's just that wind, man. <laughs> try this again didn't like what I got out here the first time I had to go back in and warm up thaw out a little bit let's get out of that wind it hasn't let up any the waves seem to be calming down a bit though I will try to get the shot I've been looking for so not easy. Never easy. The wind is making my eyes water and it's really difficult to see what I'm doing here. that I'm going to get what I want. Not in these conditions. But it's these conditions I'm trying to shoot for. So they're just, the waves are coming over this side of the pier. Splashing up. They need to come more from a west, northwest direction instead of a southwest direction. Oh man. focus now that I zoomed in on the focus ten times on the edge of that bench now we just wait for the right wave
sun's trying to break through. That could be interesting. And here I forgot my lens hood. off this pier. I gotta try to get as far over here to the right as I can. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I didn't feel good about this shoot from the time I got out here. I really don't think pictures that I took, I don't think I got one that I can live with. Some days are like that. It'd be good to get out of this wind, that's for sure. I'll tell you, this was a challenging day with a really disappointing results. You know, you can be as prepared as you want. Now I'm looking at these waves and all of them are breaking exactly how I needed them to break, that they didn't break for two hours I was out here. Come back and do this again some other day. Seven layers of clothing. Seven layers of clothing. I feel like a salad. Seven layers. And it's not that I was cold. I just couldn't deal with that wind. It was wreaking havoc with my camera, my lens. The M50 quit for a while. Monitor wouldn't turn on because the wind was so bitterly cold. It's 37 degrees Fahrenheit, but with that wind, it's probably close to zero outside. And, yeah, it's exhausting as well. For all the times I've been out there to try to get that shot, I thought today would be the day. You proved me wrong. Really ran out of patience with all of this today. But I'll get it. I'll be back. So it turns out my frustrations about the day's shoot were well founded. I actually took only 59 photos that day sure seemed like a lot more. And I was about to drag them all into the trash in Lightroom when I came upon this, the very last photo I took. And the thing is, I don't remember seeing that wave or taking that photo. I think I may have taken it accidentally, pressing the remote cable release reflexively right when I said, that's it, I'm done, I'm done. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Watch closely. That's it. Right there. You see that? That's it. I'm done. I'm done. At any rate, I looked at the histogram and I saw that I was exposed way to the right because the sun had just poked out from 
behind the clouds. But nothing was blown out. And I love the way the sun backlit the apex of this wave. Now the fact that the top of the bench was even with the horizon really bothers me. I should have positioned my camera either a little higher or a little lower, but not along the horizon. How did I not see that in camera? Nothing I can do about that now. But maybe I can make this photo work in spite of that. Also, the shallow depth of field, that bothered me. But then I thought, if I made the bench, which is tack sharp, the focal point, and the looming wave, which is slightly out of focus, that tells a compelling story, as if like it's coming into view, like a monster out of the shadows, ready to pounce. After making lens corrections and removing chromatic aberration, I, I brought down the exposure about two-thirds of a stop. And lifted the shadows considerably and the whites. I knew it could recover all of the detail in the sky by lowering the exposure with the brush tool and it would really bring out the snow squall that's off in the distance. I added some texture which really brought out that little spillway of water running off the pier at the lower left. And I bumped up the dehaze filter and look what that did to the sky. Wow, I love that slider. I brought the vibrance down and the saturation down to give the water a cooler, more natural appearance, and the balance was off, but nothing that a 16 by 9 crop couldn't cure. I added a radio filter to increase the exposure to the back of the bench and to make it pop stand out against the sky. An overall vignette wouldn't work here because the sky was naturally dark in the corners already, so I added another radial filter to darken down the exposure in the foreground. And I think that results in really drawing the viewer's eye in. And that's about it. After all is said and done, and for as disastrous as the day had gone, I was at least able to salvage one decent photo. Is it the photo? No. But like I said, I'll get it. One day. Hey, thanks for watching everybody, and if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you'd like. You can also hit the subscribe button below to be notified by mail when the next episode of Behind the Door is posted. That's it for now. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you down the road.